Hello friends, welcome to my Google Cloud video series. This is Soitanu Kumar from Bangladesh. Firstly, I want to say sorry for my bad English. But if you want to try, I hope you will understand my language. Okay, so uh, today we will learn how to deploy a WordPress application in Google Cloud App Engines. It's not uh, similar to deploy as a host in a host or in a VPS. So I just shut out some list of process to do this work. Let me show you what should we do to deploy our application in Google Cloud App engines. So these are the steps to follow to deploy our WordPress website on Google Cloud App Engine. For the past, you must create a project in Google Cloud account. Okay, so this is just a simple way we can do. Let me switch my account and I am going to cloud.google.com. So, in this dashboard, you must create a project for doing anything. It's not just for WordPress app deploy. Okay, you must deploy, you must create a project for do anything. So, if you want to create a new project, you can do from here. Okay, so I already have my project, so I don't want to create a new project. So let me show you some other processes. Next, you must enable the SQL API because our WordPress application will use a database that should store in SQL instances. Okay. Next, we need to create a SQL instance and create a database and set root password. Uh, if you wanna see you can view my previous videos uh, where I show how to create database, how to create instances, how to set root password. Okay, now this is this the this is current steps is for creating a database for our WordPress site. So let me open my confirm. So, how to connect our SQL instance? Okay, I already have a SQL instance called LaraDB. So, let me connect my zcloud SQL connect help. This is the full syntax to connect our SQL instance, zcloud SQL connect and then instance name, then user. Okay, our instance name is Lara DB. Now I need to pass a flag called U. That means user. I'm passing user as root. Okay. Oh, to obtain new credential or if you have already logged in with different account. Okay. So I need to re-log in in my account. Zcloud auto default login. It will open zcloud auto 
help control c auto login help Okay. The cloud auto login. It will open a browser and I need to re-login. So I'm login as Allo. So I'm just allowing the Google Cloud access from my API. Okay. Now let me connect to my SQL instance. So it whitelistings my IP address so I can connect from my local PC. Then we need to do some things that I already downloaded some files. This is our face WordPress download file. Okay and this PSP doc sample I downloaded from Google Cloud doc samples a uh, github okay let me show you how to download just search Google Cloud doc samples github okay Amra oh sorry we will find a repository so we are here we will find some samples to deploy on google cloud apps so let me search psp samples psp doc samples I just clone this repository from here and it's cloned in my desktop. Okay. Now I am I hope we are connected. It's asking for root password. My root password. Okay, welcome to MariaDB monitor. Now we are in MySQL panel. Now we can create database, we can create user, we can do anything let me show you create a database wordpress z wordpress on z app engine one row affected show data basis so we just create this database now we need to create a user for this database i am creating a user create user same name i wanna same name as database name at host any identified by i wanna give same thing as a password okay so we just create a user called wordpress on z app engine now we need to grant all privileges for accessing our database grant all pre this on our database dot star wall tables to our user app 
at host any so this user now can do anything on this database okay this is the total process in sql instance now i am showing you how to prepare our wordpress application to deploy its google app engine so i just need to extract this wordpress zip files and i need to copy some files from this repos app engine wordpress search zip files and flexible actually while we are going to deploy our wordpress website in app engine flexible environment so i'm just copying files from flexible folder okay and creating a new folder z f engine just paste those files and i am just pasting my wordpress file in g app engine folder so this is the file structure file and folder structure to deploy our application now i need to modify two files app.yml and i need to modify wp config as per my database credential so uh, how to need actually let me open it I need to provide the database connection, the DB user, DB name, DB password. Okay, for one Google App Engine, and this portion is for our local environment. So I can run this application in two environment, local environment and production environment. Okay, so how can I find DB connection? Let me show you. I am opening another common prompt Z Cloud SQL instances describe Lara DB. So this will show me the connection name. So connection name i'm copying this line connection name connection name okay db connection just paste here db name our db name is our db name and username is same i think our password is also same identify by this password i just keep simple so our production environment setup is done okay just save it in my wordpress root folder I am saving it on WordPress root folder WP config and save. Now our file folder are structure. I don't need this WP config because I just paste it on my WordPress folder WP config. Okay, now I need to modify another file that's called app.yml. 
app dot yml okay our db connection i need to just paste my connection name oh sorry connection name this is my connection name okay save it now we are all done for deploying our application now let me go to my folder cd zae cd desktop cd zae now we are ready to deploy our application so z cloud f deploy now it will deploy our wordpress application in google cloud just showing some information target project my project target service default this will be our current version and this will be our application url so i'm just proceeding why beginning development of services okay it will take uh, about 3 to 4 minutes so so our app deployment is finished now we can browse our apps using this command or we can browse our apps or website using this url so let me show you by using this command this will open a browser tabs and url okay so this website is now connected to our database and run on google cloud app engine okay um, let me give a small name wordpress on google app engine username it's my name so I don't know I'm just copying this password and hide it using my email address just discuss install WordPress okay save it login paste my password wow we are in now dashboard now everything is general process you can install anything you can install plugin from appearance themes or if you want not install plugin you can install from here just add new and install another plugin these all are same case as as usual okay thanks for watching my videos i hope you will subscribe to my channel for upcoming video so you can notify instantly when i update my videos okay thanks for now